The Independent Media and Policy Initiative says there are enough proof to support the federal government's choice of high tech to construct the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Chairman IMPI Ni Yakintiju in a statement noted that the think tank group after study of the situation showed that all the claims by former Vice President Atiku Abubakar who sparked the controversy were off the mark and targeted at discrediting the project. It added that aside from successfully handling the Bar Beach shoreline, protection. Hitech also has a history of constructing coastal highways with reinforced concrete out outside of Nigeria. The policy group also insisted that a cost analysis of road projects similar to the Lagos Calabar Highway in some parts of the world showed that the costing of the project was inappropriate. It's added that international media reports indicates that investigations are ongoing on the next batch of individuals listed in the Panama Papers, which may include the two-time presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who is number 68 on the list of exposed former top government officials using shell companies.